So we're going to look at an example. Um, notice it's the same vector value function that we use when we talked about unit tangent vectors. Right? Um, so just in case it's been a little while since you looked at that video, let's quickly run through the steps here. Right? So r prime is going to be minus 3 sine t, 3 cosine t, and 4. Right, the magnitude of our prime, okay, here I'll skip the steps. Um, the magnitude comes out to be simply 5. So our unit tangent is going to be minus 3 over 5 sine t, 3 over 5 cosine t, and oops, uh, 4 over 5. Right? Um, so from here we can calculate t prime and eight minus three over five cosine t minus three over five sine t and then zero. Okay. Um, so the magnitude of t prime is going to be well. It's three over five. Why is it 3 over 5? Because I can, I can take the, you know, if I take the minus 3 over 5 out, I'm left with cos t sine t and 0. I know that this is a unit vector, right? And remember the, the basic property of magnitudes. If you have a scalar multiple out front, the magnitude of the whole thing is absolute value of the scalar times the magnitude of the vector, right? Okay, and so that gives me, well, so dividing by the magnitude is basically just getting rid of the scale factor out front, um, but we keep the minus sign. So it's just minus cosine t minus sine t and zero. Um, and you can check that is indeed a normal vector if we take the dot product with the unit tangent. Um, we are going to get 3 fifths sine t cos t minus 3 fifths sine t cos t plus 0. Uh, dot product gives me 0 for all possible values of t. Uh, in the textbook, the, um, this example asks you, I think, to plot, um, plot these vectors when t is equal to pi over 2. I'll let the computer do the job there. You can look at the, uh, the computer-generated image in the textbook. Um, but if you go to the trouble of sketching them, you will, of course, find that these are orthogonal vectors. Uh, this one is normal to the curve. Okay, So it works as advertised.